Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good and the Little Pink Princess Dragon. Oh, he's excited. You know why? Boxy Charm. He loves that Boxy Charm. Yes, he does. And we got our premium box and... We got it at a pretty decent time of the month, so kudos, Boxy Charm. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> oh, I know. <sighs> Glam Goat says it's a good day. Any day, it's a Boxy Charm day. <laughs> Boxy Charm. Okay, he's excited. So you want us to open it? All right, um, you guys go take a seat, and I will get the box. Okay, here we go. Oh, couple of things, couple of things. Like, my makeup, I'll tell you what now, I keep looking in the mirror and I'm sweating. It is like a thousand degrees plus, you know, I turn on the lights. That does not help. So you can probably hear my fan in the background because, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's. I don't know, maybe 70 degrees, but it's a little bit humid, and then, you know, I turn on the lights. <laughs> lights create heat. There's just, I don't care. They say, you know, LED doesn't create heat. If it's a big enough light, it creates heat. It does. <laughs> they line. All right. Um, I got a card from Stephanie... I cannot read the last name. I don't know. Can you guys see that? Um, so I'm not sure who it's from, but it has to be from someone on YouTube because basically I don't know anybody else. <laughs> so, um, Stephanie, like From Wisconsin, I believe. W-I, that's Wisconsin, right? Yeah, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, I'm guessing so. So, you know, Stephanie, if you are a YouTube friend, please leave a comment below. Let me know who you are, and thank you. I don't think it's Stephanie Southern, because I don't think that Steph Southern is from Wisconsin, which is kind of Midwestern Northern. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. But, whew, speaking of subscribers, we've got a few new ones. Hey, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Good to see you. Also, i got to tell you, Nola sent me a box a while back with a whole bunch of goodies in it. And there, there was a palette in it that I, I kind of wanted, and she had two, so she sent me one. But she threw in a bunch of, you know, samples and other goodies, too. And I am trying out the sample of Kat Von D Lock It, Lock It Foundation, along with the primer. Like, it came with the primer and the foundation, which I thought was really ingenious. Like, why, why just send your foundation in a sample? Because not all foundations agree with all primers, and not all primers agree with all foundations. So send the primer that you know it works with so people will be impressed, you know? I mean, the object of samples is to get people to buy your shit, right? Am I right? I'm sure I am. This time. <laughs> so, um, I gotta tell you, it, uh... You know, I put it on, we took a trip on the scooter, went about, um, seven miles, uh, had some lunch, went to, uh, like a dollar store, but it's not a dollar store, it's something else, but it's like a dollar store, you know, did a little shopping, came back home on the scooter, so I'm wearing sunglasses, got the mask on, the whole, you know, schmeal, and... I did a little, a wee bit of touch up around my nose because I have the kind of mask that you pull up over your face. I love it. Becca from Becca's Beauty Journey. <laughs> 
uh, gave it to me in a Christmas uh, Secret Santa thing, and it is like the perfect mask. You put it around your neck. When you go in a store, you pull it up. When you come out, you yank it. Down. It's freaking perfect. Perfect. I love that thing. Everywhere. Everywhere do I carry it. <laughs> But, so, you know, because of the nose thing, I did lose a little bit around the nose, but the rest of it is just, I'll tell you what, I don't think my makeup has looked this good this long in a really long time, you know, and especially like being out and about, I'm really enjoying this. Um, the eyeshadow I have on today, I actually reached for two palettes, but the one that I ended up using... Believe it or not, it was this Huda Mint palette. And that is, that is all I have on, you know, I, I put on lashes, girls. I put on lashes. Yes, I did. But, yeah, my eyes. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can do this thing. This thing that y'all do. Okay, that's enough of that, because it just, I can't, I just, I can't, I can't. <laughs> but, I must say, I don't believe I look 60 today. I think I look, my son says, no, Mom, you can pass for 50, no problem. <laughs> Bless his little heart. Okay, so, while we were in, you know, the, the dollar place, since I, you know, just did a declutter and then went out and bought two more, uh, nail polishes, both, like, in basically the same color. Let me, okay, glasses. Yeah, I had to buy two more. And this is really cheap. These are a dollar a piece. They were on clearance. This is kind of a peachy pink. And it's, can you see, it's got, like, that glistening, like, that iridescent glow to it. For a buck, you know, even if it only stays on two or three days, for a buck. And I'll tell you, if you use a good top coat... And when you polish your nails, don't just run the, run it, make sure you go around the edge. You know, it really helps it a lot. And then I got this, this is metal. It's supposed to look like, like metal. Like, yeah. I, I have a whole bunch of them lined up to use for the next few weeks, but these ones are both, you know. I mean, I saw the metal ones and I was like, I need one of those in my life. So I went with the pink because I just couldn't make up my mind. And there was a lighter pink, but, you know, I like that dark pink. And then this just uh, iridescent. Y'all know me. If it's shiny and it sparkles and it's pink and it's a dollar, honey, that bitch is mine. <laughs> and you know what? I think I might could use... A little more blush so let's put on a little more blush this is the Ciara London this is a baked blush that came in a boxy charm I never used it before and when I was picking out stuff because I changed out what I was using when I was picking out stuff I said to my son you know it was down to like two or three things and I said yo Jake which blush do you think, you know, which one of these do you think I should try out? You know, because I think all three of them, I've never, I know, it's so bad. I've never even, you know, used. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. I must have it. Oh, it's so pretty. I must keep it. No, I'm not going to sell that one. And, you know, and there it sits, right? And he's just like, Mom, definitely that one. So, and I do. I think it's just... You know, I mean, it's just, it's just blush. It just adds a nice little flush of color. It's not too dark. It's not, you know, but it definitely shows up. But you got to kind of look for it. I mean, it just blends into the foundation. And I'll tell you, this foundation is so easy to put your powder products on top of. Really, if I was still working, honey, I would have to... I would have to try some of this out, like a full bottle, because it's the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation, and it also had the Lock It Primer, and uh, 
Go on. I mean, I'm, I, I think I'm looking pretty good today now, you know, for an old lady. <laughs> All right, let's get to the point, shall we? We want to see some box of charm. Ooh, yeah. And, yeah, she got smashed up pretty good now. My, uh, <laughs> my mailman, he, he left it in the mailbox. I didn't have to go pick it up. But, oh, my mailbox is, like, just about tall enough for this to fit in. I had a heck of a time rustling her back out. Everything is safe in it, though. All right, and a little a sneakage. Well, you can't see through that. Let's just get rid of that. A sneakage of the peakage. Okay, and... Boxy Charm has been really good lately. You know, I went through a little period there where you kind of weren't sure if he was going to get a card or not. And, you know, so I'm really happy to say, yep, been getting cards. The theme for this month is Boxy Charm Lucky. Because, you know, it's March. It's St. Patrick's Day. And guess what? It actually got here before St. Patrick's Day. Yes, it did. It got here. What's on my calendar? She got here on the 11th. So, yeah, this isn't going to go up until, like, the 18th. So, it'll be a full week. But, you know, so many videos, so little time. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I need to put the box down. Hello. Box. Down. Oh, the foam is getting in my way. Okay, first off, yes, I've already been through it, and I gotta tell you, this is like, this is not a good premium box. It, it's not. Um, I mean, there's nothing in here that's, well, there might be a couple things in here that's garbage, but, um, I, I'm like, really, are we just... Are we just going in the warehouses now and just grabbing things and throwing them in boxes? Because it's pretty helter-skelter. And here's, here's the first thing we'll talk about because it's the best thing in the box. And the reason it's the best thing in the box is because it's the thing I chose. And hello, guys. It's Too Faced. The Hangover. Okay, let me see. Oh, yeah, you know, it's two-faced. It's, it's, it's staying. It's here for life. Even if I never open it, it's here, here for life. Okay, and that's what that looks like, which is a riot because, you know, it takes this much for the box, and then you pull out the box, and this much is like, there's the tube, right? I can see in there, though, and she's full up to here. So, let's see. Does this just pull off? Oh, it just Oh, it's a pump. That's handy. I like that. So that just pulls off. Oh, you know, I like I like two face. Let me see. It would be really awesome if it smelled like peaches. <laughs> I know. It's always one more thing with me, isn't it? Just one more thing. <gasps> oh, I didn't want to get that much, but okay. This is the Replenishing Face Primer with Coconut Water Probiotic Based Ingredients and Skin Revivers Silicone Free. We love your skin even when you don't. Proactive and Nourishing I like everything it says on here. Where is the... Where is the ingredients? You know, I have lashes on, so I can't kick my back, my glasses all the way back. So, yeah, it helps to have the third eye again. Okay, water is the first ingredient, which is always a good thing. And then there's a whole bunch of words that I have no idea what the hell... Okay, water... Lactobaceous, Salix Alba Bark Ferment Filtrate, Propanadiol, Di, 
disiprylate propanediol again. Okay, so it's propanediol disipriate and then propanediol. C3 something 6 oliviate. Olivate. Oh, yeah. Like, there's... You get way the hell down here. And then I have olive fruit, olive oil. Down a little bit more. Uh, coconut. Oh, coconut is like... Coconut is way... Way... Look at all them ingredients, okay? Coconut is way down here. So, yeah. But, you know what? Sometimes it'd be like that. It's in there. So they can say that it's in there because it's in there. Obviously, she's pretty far down. <laughs> pretty far down. So let's take a look at this. This is a primer, a face primer. Okay, it does feel... Feels more like a moisturizer, to tell you the truth. Yeah, and that would have done, like, my entire face. I, that was, like, way... One pump will do. Actually, try not to even take one pump, because probably one pump is too much. Hmm. Okay. So there's the primer, and... What do we got here that we can stick on the primer? <laughs> Okay, let's try, um, well, probably won't be able to see the bronzer, really, because it melts in so melty-like, but let's try the blush again and see. It is a baked blush, but... Okay. I don't know. Can you guys even see that? Like, maybe I need to do this. Ah, uh, I can see it. The camera's not really picking it up, but I don't know. You can kind of see it there. So now, if I remember, <laughs> y'all know I'm old and I forget shit, but if I remember, we'll take a look at that later on and see how she's holding up. But, you know, y'all know I love me some Too Faced. Okay, now let's talk about the real white elephant in the box. Okay, first off, you're sending me another bottle of Becca Foundation. Okay, um, don't tell me that you don't have access to my account because obviously you have to be able to tell what I've had before in order to not put it back in the box. So this is a repeat item. Now I want to look this shit up and it said after a year has gone by you might get a repeat item because they will figure that you have used it up and you know give it to you again which I think is ridiculous because I'm trying out new products. Why would you give me the same product again when you have it's not like everybody got this. You have literally hundreds of different products to throw in this box, okay? So, first off, it's a, re you know, has it been a year? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. But to me, it's a repeat product, you know? Now, second off, I bought, like, I don't know, 12 of these things? Six, eight, I don't know. I bought a boatload of these. Um, the first time I got it, I got it in vanilla, which is what I've been wearing lately because in the wintertime, it seems that vanilla is actually my shade. <laughs> but in the summertime, let me see, what else did I have? I had one that was... I can't remember... I can't remember the names of all of them, but, yeah, this one's vanilla. I had one that was, um, Buttercup or something like that, which was just a little bit too yellow for me. 
So I went with the olive tone. The one Driftwood is perfect. So in my reviews, I said Driftwood, this is the perfect shade. Um, I had like, like I bought, I don't know. I bought four of them and then I bought like six more. So I, I, I have nine more of them in my refrigerator as we speak. Okay. Olive, olive. They sent me khaki, which is like, this is going to be a long video. I'm already at 20 minutes and we're only working on like what the second thing come on open up are you serious thank you wait till you see this okay now keep in mind this also um idiot that I am I can't remember the word but it gets darker after you put it on it oxidizes that's the word so this is not even the true color, but like, yeah, that's way, way too dark. Here's the one that I'm wearing now, okay? Like, why would they even come up with, what? What? So, I did send them an email, which, as most of you know, to send BoxyCharm an email anymore is a real challenge um and the thing to do is if you ever have a complaint with boxycharm and you send them an email and they actually email you back keep the email that they sent you back because you can use that email to reply to all the time and then you won't have to go through the whole robot help bot boxy bot thing okay but yeah, I'm I'm really disgusted with that. Now, I might have been okay with this if it was like in driftwood. I would have been like, well, yeah, I got six of them, but I did say that that was my shade, you know. But what the hell, Roxy Charm? So you know, I mean, right now we have a foundation that I like, but it's the wrong shade. We have the primer that I picked out because, let's face it, there wasn't a whole lot of choices to pick from. I only picked it because it was a Too Faced item, and, you know, I love Too Faced. I have 16 primers, so if I was going to go out and spend $35, neither one of these products would be on the list, okay? Now, let's look at, oh God, here's another good one. What the hell is this thing? I know I'm doing a lot of cursing. Y'all just bear with me here. This is, where is it? Beauty Diva London. Perfect your eye looks with this cruelty-free brush set for eyeshadow and eyeliner. $48. Wait until you see this. Just like, like I think the color is, awesome i mean y'all know me i love the colors yeah give me some colors now and i have had other brushes from them i got another set from boxy charm that was they were all different colors they were like festival or something they were all different colors and they were really good brushes and that was a brand i never heard of before these are i just i cannot convey to you the cheap plastic lego plastic type like toy these are like toy brushes they're like toys and i'm not taking them out of this because i'm not um i've been watching the other reviews i'm not touching these um they're going in the giveaway box so that maybe someone would you know will get them in a giveaway that can use them or maybe has a child that they, you know, want to give them to you. I don't know. I don't, if I had a child, I would give it to them. Because these are like toys. $50? No one with $50 to spend on brushes is choosing these. I will guarantee you that right off the bat. So, like, what? This is taking forever. Okay, this, this is nice. It's, it's bite. 
Bite Beauty. I like Bite Beauty. It's um, it's a bullet lip. I like a bullet lip. However, it came in three different shades, and it was like a dark brown, kind of a. I'm not sure if this is a dark red or a dark pink. It looks awful damn red though, doesn't it? I mean that that looks pretty red, and a beautiful pink that was like okay a pink it was like the color of this bow i don't know if you can see that okay maybe not that that's not a good example but it was pink it was like a dark pink how could you not send me the pink one you know how many people out there are going to be like mm -hmm. are you sending me this barbie doll pink for when you red and i'm going like What? 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 Who? Whose idea? I'm telling you that that is not. That's red. That's red. That's yeah. I'm not touching it at this point because I'm not absolutely certain. I I kind of want to swatch it. I kind of want it, but like red is not. I wear way too much colorful eyeshadow to get away with red lip. Okay, so. You know, I love the brand, I love the lip, but what the hell color are you sending me here, folks? And that was... Ooh. Bite Beauty. Bite, 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 bite. $27. I can see it. I, you know, that that's... I can see Bite Beauty being $27. Okay, we have a... I believe this is a lip liner from House. 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 From highest. <laughs> and what did I do with my opener? Which is actually a pair of tweezers. Tweezers really, really good for, you know, getting these little things open. While you're trying not to break them. Um, I, I like a lip liner. I have learned, for me, I don't just line my lip. I do a lot with a lip liner. And then... I put my actual lipstick over the lip liner. So, you know, um, seriously, I, I, you send me a red lipstick and a, okay, this is not a color that I use a lot of. I will use it, but not like, not frequently. Okay, I'm trying to miss the blush here. Um, it feels nice. Really, it feels beautiful, but, um, again, the shade, what, and, I mean, how many people, I don't know, let me know, comment below, do people wear this color of a liner with that, that color, you know, of a lip, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and here, here is like one of the Coupe de Gras. The Cypress. On my head. I, you know you're getting old when you can't find your glasses and they're on your head. Illuminating Eye Serum and Primer. And Shimmer Palette. So the eye serum is also a primer. They're made for each other. Illumination and Active Shimmer. Okay, um, okay, active illumination for eyes and body, okay, this, this sounds to me like a product that somebody thought was a good idea and then nobody bought it, okay, um, oh no, we made this exclusively for BoxyCharm, no you didn't, you made this and then when you tested the market, people said, what the fuck is that? Hell no. And then you couldn't get rid of them, so you sold them to BoxyCharm for, you know, what, a dollar? <sighs> okay, okay, here, before I even, before I, and I have seen so many of these bottles that, I gotta tell you, this is not a new product. Um, they're chunky. 
their um, smell bad. You know, the reviews are not real good on this. And I'm like, okay, that tells me this is a product that's been sitting around for a while. Okay. They might not have been open. So, yeah, they could be brand new, but they've been sitting around for a while, you know, and it's old shit. That's why it's, you know, like that. Some of them are going to be good. Some of them are not. That's, you know, there's a, a different shelf life depending upon temperature, you know, light, et cetera, et cetera. Where is it? Cypress. $145. Now, seriously. Let me know. Comment below. Do I, I'm not even going to open this because I may try to sell this because somebody's going to like it. I do, I like that the palette opens, you know, with the little magnet clip here. That's, it's secure, it's cute, blah, blah, blah. There's, like, a little screen over the mirror. That's nice. The shades are beautiful, but they're, like, there's not even anything in there you could use for a transition shade. But they're claiming that, like, you know, these two are, you know, to be used together. But you're going to need another palette because... What? What? Okay, now, if you had $135 to spend on a makeup eyeshadow palette, blah, 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 would you get this, okay, this, and, you know, this, and I might add $135, and this is cardboard, okay, this is cardboard, okay. Or would you get a Pat McGrath Mothership palette? Let's just put this in perspective here, okay? Like, seriously, BoxyCharm? Take this back and send me the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2. We will call it a day. <laughs> so, guys... Uh, yeah, we got, we got that. Should have come in April, because, you know, April Fool's Day. How has this got anything to, there's not even a green in there, okay? Um, again, April Fool's Day. Um, the, I love the product. The color is just not, you know, that. What the hell is this? Who? What? What? I mean, you send us Luxie brushes. You send us, you know, really nice brushes. And then what? The Boxy Charm brushes. The ones that were, you know, Boxy Charm. Better than this. I swear. I swear. I swear. Okay. Lip liner, I'm good with it, but again, the shade, I mean, like, you would think just out of the chance that somehow at least one of those things would have been in the right shade, right? You know, just, just for the sheer, you know, the odds, right? And then, of course, I picked this, so, yeah, okay, um... I sent them an email, we'll see, you know, and I said, like, yeah, okay, it's a repeat item. I didn't say anything about you a year ago, blah, blah, blah. I said, it's a repeat item, but the big deal is it's not even in the right shade. So if it's a repeat item, how are you not getting it in the right shade, you know? Make your comments. Make your comments. <laughs> yeah, I'm not real happy with this one. But, you know, Monday is choice day, which is going to be passed by the time y'all see this. I believe we get two choices. I'll tell you what, they better do something really good for this next premium box. or And the things that are in the... You know, it's like, if you just got into BoxyCharm, this is all real impressive. But I've been in it for like four years now, and it might be time. Because even in the add-ons and the pop-up, I'm looking at 
all the good stuff is stuff I've already got. Either I got it in a box or I've already purchased it. You know, there's just nothing, just nothing. Subscribe to the channel. She always tells exactly how she feels. Yes, she does.